All right, look at that, folks. You got the stone blue. Beautiful color. And with this front end, what Ford has done is just created this super sleek, kind of corporate, I'm in charge, really, really saying something design on the front end. The front fascia has a very tasteful, kind of body color chrome mixture going on here. A little bit of matte black in the front, but nothing too crazy. You do get standard tow hooks, which is really nice. And with 9.8 inches of ground clearance, you might want to use those when you're taking it off road because this thing is absolutely more than capable. Coming in here, you got your expedition badging right on the side there. Super fancy, high finish there with the LED lights. Got your turn signals and your daytime running lights all worked in there. Really, really nice looking. Just, I actually love the front grille here. Active air dam. Yeah, just coming, taking a step back and looking at this. This screams 1980s, you know, Wall Street. Michael Douglas, greed is good to me. I don't know, it's just got this large in charge kind of corporate look like I don't know if that's a CEO of the company or a suburban family just kind of cruising around you can see a continuation from this hood all the way down with these deep curves into the body lines I love the way the lighting looks at this time of day check that out folks just beautiful and you have that deep line that I just think that looks freaking sweet very nice love it love it there you go, there's a better view of it. I polished aluminum 20 inch wheels. They're wrapped in some open countries, relatively good street tire. I wouldn't really like take it majorly off-roading, but they're, they're good enough and they have great road mannerisms. At 210 inches long, you wouldn't believe it, but this is not even the king of the segment, which I was shocked by. I thought this was gonna be the longest one of them all but that goes to Cadillac at 227 inches so this one is 221.9 to be exact so that is if you get the three thousand dollar max package which I would highly recommend you do because you're gonna see what you get in the rear here in a second I don't know if you can see that there we go light it on up isn't that cool just check that out. I, I absolutely love that. And for uh, some of you smaller drivers, just be aware that this is 79 inches tall. We're going to be testing that out here this week. I'm going to be doing some uh, city slicker reviews. So you have to stay tuned for that. We're going to be going into the parking garages, doing downtown parallel parking, all the terrible stuff that absolutely sucks, but you have to do it. And nobody ever talks about it, so Rev Nation, we are going to bring it to you, folks. The Expedition logo, again, very sleek, very corporate. I do like the little uh, sort of chrome polished finish here. That is not exactly, you know, shiny chrome, but it's just that color, right? Coming down here into the rear bumper splitter, you do not have a open exhaust or anything like that, but you do have some really cool uh, rear tail lights. A setup for the advanced towing package if you opt for that. I'll have to look at the price of that again, but you can opt to get this all the way up to over 12,000 pounds and set it up for like a gooseneck trailer and everything like that. So super capable. Out of the factory, you can tow 9,200 pounds with this current engine and you do have your max badge to let everybody know that you got the big whamma jamma daddy o right here. You do have your hood lever down here. Alrighty folks, continuing with the no engine cover, uh, we've got the 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo charge producing 380 horsepower 470 pound-feet of torque with a zero to 60 in five and a half seconds for a package like this That is absolutely mind-blowing You can actually step this up twice when you go into the higher trims like the Timberline and the King Ranch and the Limited You can go for one that is good for 400 horsepower or step it up to the max Which is going to give you 440 and then 510 
pound-feet of torque. This is a Cleveland, Ohio built engine. Super duper, you know, it might not be Detroit muscle, but it's Cleveland muscle, and I know from experience those people are pretty tough. You do have a key fob that is quite fantastico. It does have the, obviously, lock, unlock, remote start, and power lift gate, and the emergency functions that has a, uh, you know, built-in alarm and everything like that. Around back, you got your lovely Ford logo, and I do believe that you can release this button and pull out a key. There you go. That's what you get in case this thing dies off. Starting off with this little Easter egg, check this out on the side of the dash. You got your city skyline and your mountains and your little expedition guy, little figurine there super cute and just really cool and it's on both sides so your kids are going to love that up at top here you do have a hand stitched leather trim that goes not quite to the all the way to the back of the window but it's very high quality i really do like the stitching i think that if you went for the uh, black interior it would look super sharp because it would just flow with everything you got your power mirrors. Those are power folding adjustable mirrors and they are heated and equipped with the blind spot monitoring. And you do have a nice area for uh, bottles. So I put two in there to kind of give you an example of the size and scale. And going down here, you got a ton more room for other, this is all hard touch plastics. Again, you want that for sure because you will be taking this bad boy off road. Going into the dash, again, we continue with that hand stitched edging mixed with some hard plastics, which, you know, nobody really loves, but it's not a big deal here. And they kind of finish it off with these, these tasteful edges that, that kind of bring it all together. Got a really, really beefy, hand grip here for the uh, smaller folks getting in and out. You do have your seats both uh, up and down so this will control the rear seats actually and uh, this does open your lift gate which is pretty cool. Coming down you got your automatic running lights. These do have the up and down for when you're towing and this does have the adjustable pedal here. You see that? Super cool. Moving over here, you do have your eight-way adjustable ActiveX seats. These are heated and cooled, and you got your adjustments down here, bringing it all pretty slow, but, you know, definitely good. And you can see the bolstering on this is really heavy duty. This seat is meant for somebody who is large. And when you're doing the lumbar support, this is like just hugely noticeable. So me having a ton of back problems, especially my lower back, I absolutely love the support functions that this gives. You got one of the biggest steering wheels in the world. I feel like I'm back on a ship, you know, driving the, uh, the Sexton. So beginning over here, this is all of your technology, which there's a ton of driver assistance features in here. You got adaptive cruise control with stop and go, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and the forward collision warning, lane keeping system, enhanced active parking assist down here with your hill descent control back up here. And then of course you do have your lane detections, intersection assist, uh, road edge detections, and this is definitely very aggressive. I'll jump more into that when we go into the driving experience video, but you do have pretty standard wiper functions. You can see work really good. These are rain detecting wipers, and you do have rain detecting headlights within this package, the XLT High, which is honestly the one to go with, folks, that you get so much with this package, and it's only... 3700 additional dollars when you're paying this much money for an suv and a big family hauler it's that's pennies on the dollar and then on top of that you're going to get that on your resale for sure so safe investment in my opinion coming into the menu here you've got all of your functions you can change your views so you know if you want to show your audio what's playing on the radio you can if you want to configure it for a bunch of different screens, you want to see your MPGs at all time, you can do that. And the cool thing is, is check that out. You can go into your engine life, you know, and tell me, hey, I got, you know, this much left before you got to fix me up, pop. Seat belt detection. So, yep, 
there keep in mind there's an eight person uh, capacity in here so that's a lot of seat belts power distribution so you can see where your power is going during your uh, rear wheels and of course you know your traditional tachometer which they retain which is really awesome I don't love when they do the fully digital cluster so moving over here to our 12 inch touch screen again continuing with that dash I think that that just looks great this is super duper quick the the LCD the pixelation is super good you know the responsiveness the navigation system here works great you can go into all sorts of different v, uh, settings here go over here and then one of the cool features is what they've worked into the controls down here you can actually shut this screen off or if you just want it to be blank and and have your time and date up there which is pretty neat or you can just turn it off entirely and then you can see all your lovely fingerprints on there which is kind of gross but you know whatever all right so uh sync navigation ford sync works really good apple carplay works really good this is outfitted with wireless apple carplay you do have your uh temperature controls which is almost like a hybrid right they mix them in and out so down here they do retain all of the physical controls but say i want to change this check this out right so then you can do it but you do end up having to integrate this screen so not a huge deal but definitely something to think about it does have dual zone climate control with uh, again the heated steering wheel heated seats the heat seats are really nice this cooling seats they work really well but they're quite loud so yeah get a listen to that I honestly thought that the uh, the air conditioning was running in the back and I was like what is that noise couldn't figure this out but you know it was those cooling seats so I'll move my wires here you do have the optional wireless uh, charging pad that thing works really good however you do most likely have to take your case off I don't love doing that so I just continue to plug it in but I do like that the fact that they have the uh, optional wireless car play 12 volt power supply you do have an additional storage above the glove box and then your glove box is also you know really good here tons of uh, storage space in this thing moving down here we have all of our drive modes you got your four-wheel automatic for low for high you can override the driving modes and then you do have the electronic rear locker in here so this is an off-road beast man like and this is super quick check this out boom on boom off boom on boom off like really really fast go through the drive modes here sport so when you go into sport mode it actually shifts it into uh, four-wheel drive same thing when you're doing your tow haul mode and your mud and ruts sand slippery so driving up north in the winter time and then just back to normal i prefer to drive an eco i don't feel like the eco mode uh, robs you of any power really you got two cup holders right here again and then a little storage cubby down here that's kind of hard to see but uh, you can put all sorts of stuff in there keys candy bars got two more cup holders for your rear occupants here this one does have the optional captain's chairs and that is what you get in the xlt high package so you do lose that eighth person you know seat right there but you do have so much easier access into the third row check this thing out this is super soft the active active x textured material is the same as what you get on the door and look at all this storage man i've got like so much crap in there and check out how deep this goes again folks i've been living with this vehicle for a couple of days we've had non-stop rain but you can see the scale here this is what you get for a pen holder i do kind of wish that this folded out into a desk but one thing that I have found is that I can take my laptop, I can close this, and then I can pull the seat all the way back, right? And then I can just 
set my laptop right here and work. You do have to like turn your body slightly, but it's really not bad. I, I sat here and worked for about an hour once and was very comfortable. Motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Right. Things about the expedition is that you have so much room for your second row that I don't even know why you would even want to, to drive in the first row. Like I wanna hire a driver and just chill back here because that's how freaking great this is. You know, these seats are really, really comfortable. One thing that is a little bit of a gripe is that these second row and the XLT are not heated, which I was surprised about. I kind of was fumbling around and was like, okay, where's the seat heater? Because when you look at the actual pattern of the seat, it's perforated and it looks like they would be heated and cooled, but unfortunately they're not. And of course you have a huge pass through area right here that, you know, you can get really, really easy access back. I'm going to give you an example of it. Sorry to give you a shot of my rear here, but this is what it looks like going into the back seat. So to give you an example of the setup back here, you do have cup holders on both sides. You do have USB controls. You do have, check this out. Yep, there you go. You can recline these bad boys. This is a 60-40 split. So on the left-hand side, you are controlling uh, the bulk of the rear seat. So you can see I'm putting it forward here and reclining it back. Very, very nice. You know, this is also a good place to be. You could fit literally three grown adults in this third row lights here vents so that's also another um, uh, great thing about the expedition here is you have tri-zone climate control in here these are controlled in the front but you have the rear vents going back here and living in a hot place like i do that is extremely vital especially when you have really young kids or pets back here those seats, I'm um, sorry, those vents are a, a lifesaver. And, um, and this does have sensing in these seats, so we're not going to have any of those um, leaving kids in hot cars instant incidents or anything like that because it's going to give you a notification if something is left in the seats when you go to shut the car off before you can exit. So that's a really good feature. There are the climate controls and then those cup holders you can see. And you do have your power outlets in the rear, and it does have a really cool Expedition logo, which I absolutely like. And you do have pockets in both seats, so you can stuff your little iPads back there and so on. You got speakers in both doors, too. These cup holders uh, are a little far for the rear passengers. My daughter was kind of commenting about that. She's like, oh, it's kind of hard to reach. You can see back here, there are your power outlets power seat functions and you do have your hooks in here and your baby uh, car seat hooks down in here you do have this up here for uh, those car seats going in and out really really easy to use i'll see if i can get my hands on a car seat my children are old so i don't have any of those things lying around i donate all of that stuff but you can see there's a ton of storage space back there. Look at all the crap you can put back here. And there's another 12 volt power outlet. I didn't even know about that. Right there. All right, in the rear here, we do have all of these lovely features. So what this does is it will control the second row as well as the third so you do see it's got the power up and down only on the third row so kind of a weird thing that happens is when you hit this second left right and then this is what happens it's pretty abrupt you see that <laughs> all right and that's all power does put the the headrest down 
revealing an insane load floor. So behind the driver seats, you've got 121 cubic feet of storage space, 170, I think it's a hundred, yeah, 172 cubic feet of total space within the Expedition. It's absolutely amazing. So when you opt for the max, you do have um, 36 cubic feet of storage space after you put um, the seats back up. Now, if you just opt for the, uh, the regular one, you actually lose quite a bit. It, it goes down to 20 cubic feet. I like that rear bumper too. You can open this up and just hang out on the rear bumper. So this is really good for tailgating as well. Below this, this is the first time I've actually looked below it. So you do have some more storage area. You got to fix a flat thing. Oh, well, yeah, that's quite a bit of storage down here. So you can put all sorts of stuff. Right, this is the first video in my Ford Expedition series. We've got a lot more to come, folks. There's going to be POVs, daytime, nighttime, on-road, off-road testing, a family road trip, a downtown experience, everything under the sun that you can think of. You will have no questions left to what it's like to live with the Ford Expedition. Lastly, what do we got for pricing? I know it's a big issue, right? 56000 is where you start. 87,000 is where you end. The spread is massive. My tester, the XLT High Package with a couple extra options, is sitting right at 69,000 US dollars. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya.